Good morning students of HT and staff of HT and that creepy guy in the rafters up there. This is Rebecca and Lewin. Please stand for Euro Canada. tempted to make something or someone other than God the focus of our lives. Sometimes we live for material things, designer clothes, sports car, the latest in technology. At other times, our total attention is centered on other people, our peers, a special friend. We live and breathe what others are doing, what we will do with them. God wants us to have friends and the material things we need to sustain our life. But those are blessings from God. But when things and people become the center of all of our energies, we will have made them our gods. Holy Spirit, in the world that is permeated with materialism and consumerism, give me the gift of right judgment to help me not be swept up in acquiring more and more things. Today I'd like to say the Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our, this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today's date is February the 29th of 2016. Any boys interested in trying out for soccer, there will be a brief meeting at the beginning of both lunches in room 260. Students in all grades are encouraged to try out. Anyone who would like to be on this year's mock trial team should see Miss, Mr. Michelli anytime today. Miss Melfi would like to congratulate the concert band for earning first place at the Norfolk Musical Arts Festival on Thursday. The hard work that went into rehearsing for this competition has paid off and you should be proud of your accomplishment. Ms. Melfi would also like to thank all of the staff and students for changing rooms and getting to classes without bells to make the day a success. A quick message from the cafeteria. Come into the cafeteria today to, uh, and enjoy one of our specials. Thank you and we appreciate your business. And that's all from us. Now over to Mr. Casillas. Good morning, Titans. I uh, hope everyone had a great weekend. Just want to remind everyone that this is the uh, third week of our Reaching Out campaign. And this week, we're asking you to pre please bring in canned goods. Uh, all the canned goods that come in support the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Uh, remember, we are called to act justly. That is our board theme and our school theme. So please give generously. I have several shout outs because we had a very busy weekend. 
Um, last Thursday, Holy Trinity hosted the Norfolk Music Arts Festival, as you heard in announcements. It was awesome to see all the different bands that were here. And a huge shout out goes to our uh, concert band for placing first place. It's a fantastic accomplishment. Um, uh, so congratulations on that achievement. It was great to see uh, all the wonderful talent that we have here in Norfolk County. A huge shout out and a thank you go to, out to Mrs. Melfi for organizing the event. It's a huge undertaking, um, but she did a great job. So thank you, Mrs. Melfi. Uh, also, with regards to the Norfolk uh, Music Arts Festival, I want to give a huge shout out to two of our Trinity Titans, uh, Natalie Cormos and Lucas Jones. Both Natalie and Lucas uh, were chosen for the Rotary Cup at the Musical Arts Festival to perform. They were the top performers in their field, so they're chosen to perform in this, uh, and their categories were vocal and speech arts. Um, uh, so congratulations to Natalie and Lucas. It's a very prestigious honor uh, to be nominated for this. Uh, so great work. Uh, Lucas actually won the Rotary Cup, so that's even more fantastic. Great work. But uh, an excellent, uh, a huge congratulations to both Natalie and Lucas uh, for their performances at the Norfolk Music Arts Festival. Great work. On Friday and Saturday, our junior boys basketball team participated in Kawasa. Our boys did extremely well on Friday, winning both of their pool games. Uh, they were extremely dominant. Uh, on Saturday, they qualified for the semifinals. They played a very tough team from Guelph, uh, St. James. Um, our team played extremely well, but at the end, they couldn't pull it off and ended up losing in the Kwasa semifinals. A huge shout out goes to the entire team. Uh, they were undefeated in Nassau play. They are the Nassau champs. They're a great group of guys. Uh, the coaches were extremely, extremely proud of them. Big thank you to Mr. Miller, Mr. Backus, and Mr. Petrella for the great work with the team this season. And my final shout out, I'm gonna uh, ask that we have some special guests come forward over to the monitor here. We might have to pan back. Might have to, I don't know if we can get everybody on. It's a big team. Alrighty. <laughs> So I am with our senior girls volleyball team and our senior girls volleyball team uh, last Thursday and uh, Friday participated in Kawasa. On Thursday they won uh, all three of their pool play games, uh, which means that they qualified for the semifinals on Friday. Uh, on Friday morning they won their semifinal, so then they qualified for the Kawasa final. And they played a very tough team from uh, St. David's from Waterloo and our girls won. So our girls won Kwasa, and they are Kwasa champs, which is awesome. So we're gonna take this opportunity to meet our Kwasa champs. I'm gonna pass the microphone around, and they're gonna introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Sophia. Hi, I'm Haley. I'm Kyla. I'm Melina. I'm Veronica. I'm Megan. I'm Maddie. I'm Bailey. Brianna, Caitlin, Alex, Brittany, Mrs. Williams, and Miss Chanelli. <laughs> awesome. So our girls are Kwasa champs, which is an amazing accomplishment. Now, this means that they now qualify for OFSA, which is a provincial tournament. So our small town school is going to be performing on a provincial stage, which is absolutely awesome. Now, although we're very, very excited that our girls are going to OFSA, there's a bit of a gray cloud over our team right now um, because OFSA this year is in Kenora. And for those of you that don't know where Kenora is, it is about two hours east of Winnipeg, um, so it's extremely far. It's a 24-hour drive, so our girls have to fly, and the cost for us to go to Kenora, uh, Kenora is extremely expensive. So in a short amount of time, we have to raise a lot of money. So the girls are going to be going to local businesses, trying to find sponsorship. And to support our girls, uh, we're going to have a second dress down day this week. So as you know, Wednesday is already a dress down day for development and peace. We're going to throw a second dress down day on Thursday. So both Wednesday and Thursday, you could dress down. The $2 that you spend on Thursday will go to our senior girls volleyball team to help them get to Kenora to participate at the uh, provincial playoffs, which is absolutely awesome. So huge congratulations to our uh, girls for being Kwasa champs and for representing us at, at OFSA. It's an awesome accomplishment. That's it from us. Have a great day, Titans. Yeah.